Hey guys, my name is Mitsumio, and today I wanted to go over what I consider to be the best and worst medic weapons in Battlefield 1. This class has quickly become my favorite kit in the game. I love how versatile it is, but I've noticed that some of the weapons in its arsenal are clearly amazing, while others are fairly lackluster. And so to start things off, and probably what I would consider to be the best overall weapon that you can use as this class, if you're struggling to find a gun that works for you, this is probably going to be it, and that is the M1916 Marksman or Optical Variants. The reason why this designated marksman rifle is as strong as it is, and why I've fallen in love with it, is a combination between its accuracy, it's very good at counter sniping enemy scouts, its damage is very high, it only requires three bullets to drop someone at all distances, doesn't matter if they're up close or at really long range, and it's got 26 rounds in its magazine. It's this high ammo count alongside everything else that makes this gun a monster and a force to be reckoned with. The one downside is that it does have a slower RPM than some of the other DMRs and you are going to have to find your rhythm. If you tap fire as fast as you can, you are going to deal with some increased uh, bullet spread. You are going to probably have some problems here, at least at long range, but as soon as you find your rhythm, hopefully you guys have noticed that you can just ruin and decimate the enemy team. You can kill upwards of four or five people with this gun without ever having to reload, and so not only does it just have a lot of firepower, but the main reason why I recommend it, especially for people that are new to the game, is that it gives you a lot of room for air. You don't need to worry about missing that one shot. It's okay, you got 25 left, you're gonna be good to go, and you compare these to some of the other DMRs, uh, they're a little bit more restrictive, and so not only do I just recommend this for veteran players because it is amazing, but I also recommend it for newer players as well that may not have the best accuracy because it has a lot of rounds. You don't have to leave yourself vulnerable to switching over to your pistol, and while I do recommend that you take things a little slower, you're not going to want to tap fire like a madman, you are going to want to find your rhythm. Once you do find that rhythm, I think you're going to fall in love just like I have with this gun because it is incredibly powerful. Now, if you're looking for a gun that can outperform or win a one-on-one -on -one duel against the M1916, then I highly recommend that you take a look at the Mondragon, or what I like to call the Mondragon. What makes this gun good is that it has very similar stats. It's got a similar accuracy, basically the same damage, but the key component of it is that it has a higher rounds per minute, so you can put more bullets down range faster, and you can also use a bipod on the sniper variants. And so in a one-on-one -on -one duel, technically, if the two players have similar skills, the Mondragon should come on on top because you can just put more damage down range faster. On top of that, if you're using the bipod effectively, this becomes one of the most enjoyable and fun guns to use in Battlefield 1 because it becomes a laser beam. I've got a couple examples here where the enemy doesn't even have any time to react. I just put tap fire as fast as I can, three bullets at long range, and the enemy just drops like a rock. And so now you might be thinking, Okay, well then why in the hell would I want to use the M1916 over the Mondragon? Like, this just sounds significantly better. Well, the key component of it is that you only get 10 rounds at your disposal, and you're not using a magazine. This weapon leaves you very vulnerable because of this extensive reload time. I've died a lot because I was putting a full clip into the weapon, or manually inserting each bullet, four bullets total, and that takes a lot of time. And so, while I love the Mondragon, it's, it's, it's a very satisfying weapon. Technically, if you're in a one-on-one -on -one fight with the M1916, you should come out on top. But because you only get 10 rounds, which is significantly less than 26, and because of that much longer reload time, I only recommend this after you're comfortable with the game, or if you're just looking for something a little bit different. Now, if you want to use something that allows you to play more aggressive, you want to get into the enemy's face, or if you're just playing on a map that requires more close encounter combat, then I recommend trying out the auto-loading 8.25 extended variants. The main reason is that it just has the fastest rounds per minute out of all of the designated marksman rifles, or out of all the weapons at your disposal when you are playing as this class. The downside of it is that its damage just does drop off pretty fast at a distance, so you're going to want to use this up close, and its accuracy is abysmal at long range as well. This is not a gun that you're going to want to try to counter snipe anyone. Like, you're, you're, you're going to want to stay up close and personal. You're going to want to keep that combat close to the chest. And as long as you do so, you're going to be very successful. But as soon as things get further away, that's where this gun starts to struggle. Uh, as for the weapon that I think is just terrible, like I don't even know what DICE was thinking when they designed it, uh, that has to go to the self-slatter. 
I probably butchered that to all hell, but it's the 1906 factory variants. Now, what annoys me about this is that this is the rank 10 medic weapon. You gotta get all the way to rank 10 before you unlock it, and it is awful. It doesn't really do anything better than the other weapons that you have. It's got the same kind of damage, it's got relatively the same accuracy, same recoil, same reload time, and while yeah, some of them might be slightly better in stats compared to some of the other guns, what makes it as bad as it is, is that it only has five rounds. You get one clip and that's it. Five rounds, so three bullets to take out an enemy. I guess if you get a headshot, you could take them out in two bullets. So technically, you're only gonna be able to really drop two enemies before you have to reload and then rely on your pistol. How many times have you gotten in a firefight with more than one enemy or kill a guy and then another one immediately rounds a corner? Well, with this weapon, you're, you're pretty much screwed. There's not a whole lot you can do unless you're an amazing shot and landing headshot after headshot, but because the stats don't really benefit it all that much compared to the other guns, I just, I just can't figure out why anyone would want to use this over the other designated marksman rifles. And so I know that this is the gun that you'll unlock at rank 10, and you're not really going to be using this if you're new to the game, avoid this thing like the plague. Unless you're looking for a challenge, unless you're looking for a gun that requires a lot of skill and methodical gameplay because you're gonna be constantly having to reload, I would avoid this gun entirely. Uh, the same can also be true for the other DMRs that also only have five rounds at their disposal or even 10 rounds. Because a lot of these weapons are clip fed, if you're constantly having to reload and going through a really long reload animation, you're putting yourself at a disadvantage. I mean, once again, this is the reason why I'm recommending the guns that have a magazine because pretty much all the DMRs have very similar stats and why wouldn't you want to have more rounds and a faster reload? Uh, but yeah guys, that is about it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Give me your thoughts on what we discussed today. Do you agree with me that the M1916 is one of the best weapons in the game? Is there some weapon that you prefer to use when you are playing as the medic class? Let me know down below. Uh, but yeah guys, until tomorrow, have a good one and take it easy.